Welcome back to another camping vlog. I'm currently here at Porto Cove once more. The reason why I'm here is because it's super close to the city. It's only a 30 minute drive and I just felt like going camping but not driving a long distance. I was thinking of Cultus Lake but it's an hour and a half drive and I was not committed to it. So I am here on a somewhat last minute camping trip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start setting up and you know take a break and relax for today. I'm just gonna set up right next to the fire pit over here but I'm sure you guys can hear how loud the seal sounds are so I'm a little bit worried for tonight and whether I'm going to be able to get a good night's sleep because this has happened before and I wasn't aware that it was gonna be this loud especially like right next to the entrance so anyways I'm going to start setting up and I'll yeah I'll show you guys Something I got online is this little pack and the reason why I got it is to store my pegs. Can you guys see? These are like heavy duty pegs and I just wanted a place that I could store them so I don't lose it. I also put my gloves in here, I was looking for that. And then I also have all my ropes or strings, whatever these are called, all organized here. So highly recommend if you're, you know, wanting to stay organized while going camping. Can you guys hear that like screaming sound in the background? That's like seals. That's all seals. It's crazy how loud they are. So it's somewhat finished setting up. One thing I did notice after setting up is that this ground here is tilted so it's uh facing down and i'm a little bit worried that it's gonna make things uncomfortable for sleeping i think i should have done it more like here this is pretty flat i think it would have been more ideal if i did it over there but let's see how it is inside and then i might make the decision to move or not but the whole purpose of setting it up here was so that it could be close to the fireplace and the picnic table as well so the picnic table is over here let's see if it's comfortable or not and then i might decide to move things
So I've somewhat finished setting up majority of my stuff and I'm really happy with how everything turned out. I have to say it's like so much easier when the weather's nice and it's not raining because the moment it's raining everything gets wet and things just take twice as long to set up. So today was easy breezy. Got everything set up. Really happy with how everything turned out and I'll show you guys a quick tour in just a little bit but before I do that something I got are these really sturdy poles and I don't know if you guys remember me mentioning last time but I had these flimsy poles and I had them set up and overnight it was raining those poles got bent and so I had to end up throwing them away so because of that I decided to get really really sturdy poles so that they could withstand any rain any wind etc and it's a little bit of a different setup usually I would use like this side that has like kind of like an opening window. This is I would say more of the entrance. I have this facing towards because there are these flaps that I want to use as like a cover, like a tarp almost, and just have it kind of going over the fireplace right here. So I think I'm going to do that with holes that I just got. And today it's supposed to be sunny, tomorrow's supposed to be sunny. So there's no rain in the forecast, at least while I'm, you know, camping here. I want the cover more for ambiance and just in case it ends up trickling a little bit later so yeah I'm just gonna set that up right now Okay, so I think my battery ran out while I was trying to set up this tarp area, but it turned out really, really well. As you can see, it's a flap that's connected to the tent. So all I did was attach poles on either ends and then voila, super easy tarp. I have a little cozy area out here with my chair and the fireplace. And so I'll show you guys a little quick tour of what my inside setup looks like. Right there is the entrance of the campsite. This was the only spot available for walk-in that was right next to the beach. So I'm very fortunate that I was able to snag this spot last minute. Another thing is this campsite is actually a double site. So there's another one right here and then I have one here. So this is uh, site one and I believe this is site two. And when you try to reserve it online, you have to book both spots. But because it was a walk-in and nobody else had booked this spot for today, I got to pay half for my own section here so and you know they said there might be someone who you know comes in who wants that other half I, I said sure it's all good because we have plenty of space so this is my tent setup today because the weather is nice I'm able to have a lot of the doors open which brings in a lot of light otherwise it gets super super dark so yeah let me show you guys around this is the tarp that I mentioned that I had set up super easy the poles are definitely really sturdy I have my chair there and then I'm gonna have a campfire later I have the doors open here lucky is just relaxing and as you can see i have the wooden shelves that's super easy to set up i have my heater i have these boxes one has all my kitchen stuff one has all my setup things like my hammer and my poles my kitchen area right there with water and dish tub and then i have my food in that corner and then i set up this table here and i initially wasn't going to set up this table because i thought it was too high but i noticed that there's actually two settings here so you could have it really high or you could have it low Lower. and I find that this height is perfect if I want to sit on the ground and then I'm just using my sleeping pad as a cushiony seat which I'm gonna later use as my sleeping pad when I go to sleep so really happy with my setup right now super cozy so I'm now I'm taking my first break feels nice to sit down it is currently 2 36 and I believe I got here right on time at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. is the check-in time so I think it took me an hour hour and a half to get really easy hardly got my fingers dirty and didn't even break a sweat and the weather is absolutely perfect today so I can't hope for anything better really looking forward to maybe taking a little bit of walk here with Lucky enjoying the view enjoying the weather and then get ready for dinner later So now I'm finally taking a walk. My tent is right over there, as you can see, and we are right next to the beach. So we do have access to the water. And then Lucky's just having a good time here. 
He's getting a little bit wet because of the stream. I don't know what that is. There's a, I think there's a little a lot of water, so there, it's created a little bit of a stream. Also, I don't know what these are, but there are these cabins at Porto Cove. I think you can reserve them, but I just don't know how. But they look super nice, and I bet that they're super popular as well. Maybe a place to visit in the future with you know some family or friends. I think that would be really nice. There's this massive tree that didn't get cleared. So pretty here. You know, I, today I came super last minute. I came kind of unprepared. I forgot Lucky's leash, so he's sort of just, you know, free roaming as you will. I forgot a couple other things, but you know, we'll make do when we get there. so beautiful here oh my gosh i forgot how beautiful it is here especially with the sunny weather or somewhat sunny weather but you can't really hope for anything better here in vancouver in the middle of february it's basically a raincouver but today we're blessed with a bit of sun so i'm not complaining and lucky's having a heyday So pretty. You enjoying your time, Lucky? Huh? Lucky, this way, this way, come on. Come here, this way. Good boy. That's right. Come here. Come here, this way, this way. Lucky. That's right. We see our tent and it's starting to trickle a little bit, so let's head in. Do you like the walk? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a rainbow now. So I'm back at the tent and I'm just enjoying a glass of wine. I got this one for today and my favorite cup. I got this from a friend when I was leaving on a trip to Korea and it was when I first started my business and I love the saying on it which says and so the adventure begins you got this can you guys read that I love that saying yeah so I'm enjoying my glass of wine really enjoying this beautiful view in front of me as a snack I'm having these Korean rice cakes I think they're in Mmm. Mm. So I have the heater going on in the background and I'm just reading a book right now. I found a new way to place the bed and that is like smack down in the middle of the tent. And why this is great is because I could actually use this as a chair for my dinner table over here. And because I don't like sleeping in the corner of a tent, I like to put my head in the middle where it's higher ceilings. This would also be a great position to sleep in later. So later if I were to sleep, I would place my head here and my feet on the other side. So this is perfect. The more you camp, you learn more about what you prefer in your ideal setup and so um yeah i'm really happy with how things have been set up today and i actually have some downtime to read and i don't even know what time it is but you know the sun sets a little bit later now it's 5 30 to 6 and so i have even more daylight to enjoy the sunshine yeah and there's lucky just lying on my butt lucky are you comfortable so I've taken a little bit of a break and now I'm going to make dinner. It is still relatively early. I think it's around 4.30. Let me check the time. 4.28. So pretty much on the dot there. I'm just going to start making dinner. The first on the menu is bulgogi. So bulgogi is like marinated beef. Super easy. It's basically all I have to do is cook it. And then I have some um, mushrooms. I have pre-washed lettuce. And I also have rice. Sorry, I was just thinking how I should be cooking this. You know what, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook the rice first.
my battery ran out again. But anyways, what I was doing was I just heated up some water and I put the instant rice on top of it because originally how you're supposed to cook the rice here is through a microwave but I learned by watching camping videos online, Korean camping videos to be exact, is that when you're boiling water you could just put it on top. Obviously you need to have a small opening at the top so the steam could get to the rice and then apparently that does the trick. I think I'm gonna turn this off now. I think it's done a pretty good job of heating up the rice. Oh, that's hot. You definitely want to be careful. Oh, I think that did a really good job. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour the rest of the water here and then put the rice on top of it so that it could continue cooking. So the opening, this is what I was talking about. Just let it steam a little bit. Put that on the side. Back to this, the regular pot. Put that on here, heat it up. So what I've done is I brought some butter so that I could cook the meat. I'm just gonna put some butter on here. Hopefully that, you know, takes some time, melts. And then this is my meat. Ooh, that's fast. Okay, I'll maybe lower the temperature a little bit. This was frozen and I don't think it had enough time to thaw. Yeah, I'll just go with it. I like to carry one of these with me. Make sure your hands are clean. You know what? That seal sound has not let down at all for the past couple of hours. So I'm assuming that that's probably what I'm going to be sleeping with today. But anyways, I'm going to put some enoki mushrooms on the grill. I have these knives so I could use. There we go. I'm just going to cut off the ends here. Taste test with the wine. Mm. 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 Actually, something that I recommend if you go camping is to get marinated meat instead of just like plain steak and then coming to the campsite to marinate or to cook it. Have it all done for you so all you have to do is cook it. So much better, so much tastier. So I decided to sit outside here near the beach and admire the mountains in front of me. Lucky, come here! Lucky is like reacting to the seals. I mean, the sound's insane right now. I didn't realize they were going to be so loud and I feel like that's basically going to be what's going to happen throughout the night. Anyways, the view here is amazing. Forgive me for the purple lips. It's from the wine. But it's end of February and it just feels so nice that we can actually be outside and enjoy nature and it's not super cold. I mean, I do have a jacket but it's nighttime so the fact that we can be outside and enjoying nature, this is pretty good weather. 
weather. It just feels really nice to be out in nature and enjoying this beautiful view in front of me. Sorry, I was just trying to soak everything in, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I'm experiencing. I mean, film does not do it justice, but I hope you guys, wherever you guys are also enjoying this beautiful BC scenery and taking it a little easy tonight, whatever time you're watching it, just take a deep breath and do a little bit of self-care and enjoy the present moment. So I'm just gonna enjoy a few moments out here and then I'm gonna head inside in just a little bit after sunset. Lucky. I'm hoping you guys can see me. So the sun is about to set, so I want to get the fire started before it gets absolutely pitch dark. I think it's about 5.30 at the moment, so I'm gonna get the fire started with a fire starter. I have a match I could throw in and I have my electrical lighter in case the matches don't turn out. I don't know if you guys can even see me but I just wanted to say that I'm going to be heading to bed now I'm just reading a book and relaxing in the meantime the person did end up showing up in the space next door so someone did end up showing up in the space in this double-sided campsite which was unexpected but that being said it's 9 p.m. so that person is currently setting up tent but I think for me it's just going to be a slow night. I'm going to be heading to sleep very early, so I will see you guys in the morning then. Bye! Good morning everyone, it is the next day. I have Lucky here with me, also getting up from sleep. I mean, it was a decent sleep, I have to say. I think I slept around 10 p.m. and woke up at 7 or 8. So I did, you know, sleep throughout the night. The weather was great, there was no wind. It was very, very a mild weather. The only thing, like every camping trip, you can't have a perfect scenario, are the seal sounds. And I don't know if you heard the seal sounds throughout my vlog, because they never let down for even a moment. Like, this is a constant sound here but basically they were louder during the night so the thing I did bring earplugs but it did not block out all of the sound uh, I did help with a little bit so because of that I was able to sleep I don't know how lucky feels about the sound and whether he was able to sleep through so I'm gonna get started on breakfast and just have a slower morning and start packing up with one hour left to check out time so we have a couple of options for breakfast I just have this canned soup which actually I'm in the mood for I also have this ramen which is a you know a popular morning breakfast kind of situation for camping but I kind of don't want anything spicy right now so I think I'm gonna soothe my stomach with a nice can of soup and then I just have coffee to finish things off with I just have this hand drip one here a tip that I have is if you're going to use your pot twice or you're trying to use your pot for everything like boil your water and make soup with. I recommend boiling the water first, make the coffee, then you can kind of dump out whatever water is left and then make your can of soup so you don't have too many dishes. So I just have a water pump station here where I'm just gonna get the water. Just press the pump and then the water will come out. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's, it's this hand drip coffee I got from Japan. Comes in a packet like this. 
all you have to do is open the top and then when you get a cup like this, you just need to lay it over. Like that. And then you just need to pour water into it. I think I'm going to use this cup just in case I bring it to go. So I think there's about an hour and a half before checkout and I think I'm going to slowly take my time and start packing things while I'm inside the tent. I like to think, do things leisurely instead of being in a rush so I'm going to start packing up everything inside, move them to the car and then work on the tent and then if I have some time at the end I want to bring my chair over to the beach and just enjoy the view. One last time before I go. In the meantime here's my helper. Okay so let's get started. curious about my camera setup so everything could fit compactly here so I just have my Sony ZV-1 filming on a tripod and then I have everything that I need here all my cords over here just so that I could stay super organized and then this is my charger for my camera so
I guess that concludes my camping vlog this time around at Porto Cove. It was very, very easy setup, easy pack because it wasn't raining and the weather was great. The only thing was the seal sounds throughout the night. So that's something to keep into consideration if you are planning to camp here at Porto. The seal sounds can be pretty loud. But speaking of the devil, I can't hear anything at this moment. But anyways, thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you guys in my next camping vlog. Bye! Bye!